So we have even more Yankees news to talk about. Yeah, it's been a crazy day, but the Yankees just announced a bunch of roster moves to make room for guys like Severino and Efros, and they've announced some injury updates on guys. So let's just get right into this because we got some stuff to go over. Now, the two guys, the two injured players that we have to talk about are Miguel Castro and Luis Severino. Now, both of them have been moved to the 60-day IL. This might sound really, really bad. You might be thinking, oh gosh, are they going to be out for the season? I don't believe so. Because what we have to remember is that they're on the 60-day IL, but it's retroactive to whenever they last pitched. So it's more like 40 days for both of them because they've been on the 15-day IL for quite a bit. So it's not actually 60 days. It's going to be more like 40. Sevi just threw a bullpen session. He looked all good in it. Um, so I don't think it's as bad as it appears from them being moved to the 60-day IL. I think it mainly makes room for guys like Frankie Montas, Scott uh, um, Efro, and Tre um, the Trevino guy forgetting his first name, but it makes room for them on the 40-man, because when you're on the 60-day IL, this spot is cleared on the 40-man, so not as bad as it looks right there. They're on the 60-day. They should be back sooner, though. Next, Clark Schmidt has been optioned to AAA. Again, they have to make room on the active roster for all the guys that they traded for, and they've signed Carlos Espinal to a major league contract and added him to the roster. Espinal is actually within the Yankees organization. He's pitched with both AA and AAA this season to put up a 2.59 ERA out of relief. So he's been pretty good in the low levels of minors or in the minor leagues, not low levels. He's pitching at decent levels here. But he's been pretty good in the minors. We'll have to see what he can do in the majors. He's been someone who's always had some control issues. Also gotten a lot of strikeouts though. Excited to see what he can do. He'll probably be gone off of the roster when everyone is back and healthy, but for now, let's see what he can do. I always love Yankees prospects getting a shot here. I'm excited to see what he can do. But those are the moves before today's game. I, I, I would not be shocked if there are more moves tomorrow. I think they're going to be trying to get rid of Joey Gallo before the trade deadline's over. So subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all Yankees news, but let's hope for some more moves.